we can save money by putting our gas guzzlers on a diet. Over the past quarter century, they've gained weight twice as fast as we have. Two-thirds of the energy it takes to move a typical car is caused by its weight. Trains, planes and automobiles burn over 13 million barrels of oil every day in the United States. And we spend over a billion dollars per day buying that oil, almost half of which comes from foreign countries, some of whom are considered national security problems. Weaning ourselves off oil saves about four trillion dollars net present value in the United States alone. That money then stays at home. So, Lovins reasoned, what if we wasted less fuel getting gas to the wheels? And he designed the hypercar, which could weigh about two-thirds less than a normal car and could run up to an astonishing 240 miles per gallon. It will be made of carbon fiber parts like this one. So here's my carbon cap. It's just a little piece of carbon fiber composite. If hypercar sounds like science fiction to you, Volkswagen and BMW will start producing their versions of hypercars next year.